starting a little festive vlog um i'm not doing vlogmas this year because life has been pretty crazy i'm gonna do a little life update at the start of this video not life update that sounds so dramatic kind of life update though um yeah and i also need to wrap some presents so i'm gonna do that now i've got the christmas tree in the background and i've also i've started watching jingle jangle i've literally never watched this film before and i was saying to my friends at work earlier i need to start watching like different christmas films i just watch classics i just watch love actually after christmas like i just watch the same ones every year um but that's what i'm doing tonight if you are any of my friends and family click off now because if you ruin your christmas presents i will know and I'll know you've watched this video and I'll know that you've ruined what you've got for Christmas. So don't watch this, please. I'm going to start to wrap while we do a life update. Also, look at these pyjama bottoms that my friend got me for my birthday. Can we take a moment, please? They're all fluffy. They're all fluffy. They're all white. They are just me if I was pyjamas. I've literally barely taken them off since she gave me them, but I'm obsessed. And then I've just got my little Team Grinch jumper on. Both of these from Primark. I got this from Primark years ago now, but my friend got the bottoms from Primark as well. This is the wrapping paper I got this year. Um, so I just got the brown. I always get this. And then I've got this like candy cane one, but they're both recyclable. My mum read this article that normal wrapping paper can't be recycled. I don't think. Um, is this one recyclable? Yeah. Yeah. You can recycle these both and they're from Primark. But I found it really hard to find just like plain brown wrapping paper this year. Um, but that one's from Primark as well. I got these really cute ribbons from Home Bargains. And then I also got this like red and white striped one. And then I got these candy cane little um, gift tags as well. Hopefully this is a good angle. Is this really wonky? First present. I need to wrap. One of my pet hates is when stuff comes with labels on. Like, I can never get them off neatly and then the present just looks like shit. Because it's always got marks on. Anyway, life update. So, I feel like I've not uploaded in YouTube in ages. Well, I think it's been two weeks now potentially three by the time I get my next video up but all I can do is apologize I'm sorry I feel really shit for not uploading and I've missed it so much um the only thing is basically I was I don't know if anyone had this so after my 21st birthday I got so ill like I was literally ill for three weeks I've only just like have got better now don't know what was going on I feel like everyone's getting this cold or this blue thing at the minute but it was not good to say the least so obviously i was really ill from that then i went to krakow in poland if you follow me on instagram then you'd have probably seen but that's what my boyfriend got for my birthday i literally had the best time ever oh my god albie do not climb on the wrapping paper please please don't climb on the wrapping paper he was getting so interested in all of the presents <laughs> when I was bringing them down. Um, ah, oh no, this is stuck. Help, help. Um, what was I saying? Do not pick that up in your mouth. Anyway, yes, I was ill for about three weeks. Do not pick the wrapping paper up. Albie, please leave stuff alone. Albie. Albie, please. There's one person who's going to menace me wrapping Christmas presents. He's just climbed on the Christmas present. Albie. Ah, excuse me. Put that down now. He just had the Christmas present in his mouth. Right. Stop. No, not the stocking. Leave it. Right, guys. Albie's being a menace to society right now. Please do not ruin the Christmas wrapping. Anyway, yeah, was ill. Went to Krakow. Stop. Um, 
Oh my god, 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 no, no, no. Right, why did I decide to do this in the lounge? Albie! He's just had this. Please stop. Love you, but please stop. Alright, hopefully he's had his button out. Oh god, he's back. No, not the tripod! Albie? What are you doing? I guess, sorry, third time lucky. Went to Krakow, came back, work, I've just been so busy with that. I feel like anybody works in the marketing this time of year, pray for you girl because it's bloody busy. Um, oh no, he, he's literally so reactive to any like sound or crackle, I don't know. Um, yeah, so just been so busy with work, obviously I was still ill. Just been so busy for my birthday. It was my mum's birthday. It was my friend's birthday. My other friend's birthday. I feel like December, oh, November and December is just like a crazy, thanks for help. It's just a crazy time. Yeah, anyway, that's life update. Just been pretty busy, but I'm so excited just to like chill for Christmas now. Sorry if anyone can hear literal piglet sound, that is my dog. Um, also, I was working last night, but Santa came round on his little sleigh thing. I'll be seeing him, was going nuts. I don't know if anyone else has this in that area, but every year we have um, this Santa come round during this like float thing and like you give money for charity. And I took Albie out last year on his harness because that was his first time seeing him because obviously Albie's two now so this is Albie's second Christmas um and yeah he just barks and barks and goes crazy but he probably likes it do you like seeing Santa no response I'm taking no response I'm good response but yeah that is life right now um hopefully I'll be pulling out the Christmas bids I've got like a bit of chill time now, which is good. I don't have much planned, which I'm so happy about. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but when I've had like three, four weeks of like, probably more than that, probably about six weeks of just like straight plans, I just want nothing more than a night in. Like, love going out, but sometimes I just think like, oh my God, get me home, get me from the fire. If there's any videos specifically you guys want to see over Christmas, please let me know. Um, I've still got loads of birthday vlogs to upload. So I've got a Cannes and Monte Carlo vlog to upload. I've got my actual birthday vlog to upload. I've done a birthday glow up. So I've got all this content filmed. I've just not got around to editing it. And now it's Christmas, so I kind of want to start uploading Christmas stuff. Um, but yeah, I have loads to upload, I'm just slow on the editing. Please can everybody tell me who their favourite vlogmas to watch is at the minute. I've been watching Ellie Darby's and I've also been watching Immy and Kira's and I love them. Fair play to the people who literally vlogmas every single day. Don't know how you do it, but well, I guess if it's like your only job, then it's even that though, like I don't do enough interesting things every day. It would just be me sat here watching YouTube and Netflix and working, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let me know who you watch. If there's anyone new who you're watching, let me know. I love watching new people on YouTube. I think I'm gonna go with the red bow for this one because it's like this sort of brown paper. I'm gonna put this on a time lapse while I wrap the presents and watch Jingle Jangle. I'll give you guys a review of it after. This film is like two hours long though. It's quite long for a Christmas film. Um, but yeah, cue the time lapse. <laughs>
Okay, these are the presents I've managed to wrap so far. It doesn't look that many, but somebody is making it, like, this is just a prime example, making it unbearable to wrap presents because every two seconds he is stealing something from me. Look how cute the wrapping's turned out so far. Done some bows, done some candy canes, and then just the normal brown paper, but... Yeah, I'm definitely not finished, but it's a good start. Hello everybody, welcome back to my cooking show. Um, very festive of me. I'm going to make some festive sausage rolls and cranberry and brie rolls. Please excuse my dog crying like a literal toddler. Um, my sister's outside, so that's why he's crying. She's literally outside getting in the car and he's crying albie albie is anybody else's dog literally so sensitive like someone will be outside and he can literally straight away hear them or like if my mum's outside especially like if my mum's speaking to someone outside he is going nuts inside he's like wanting to go out there wanting to see everybody but life as a dog mum is so fun to make these i'm going to use puff pastry and sausages more sausages and then for the brie and cranberry ones i've just got brie and cranberry and then we just need like seasoning i'm gonna put an onion in with it some garlic if we've got any but i'm gonna put this on a time lapse we have festive buffet day at work tomorrow so this is what i'm making them for and i'm making some for my mum and dad as well and obviously me to eat um but yeah cue the time lapse my sausage rolls i've done some just sausage and some sausage brie and cranberry and then i've just done some brie and cranberry as well in case anyone's vegetarian but they look so cute the only thing is i didn't have um a pastry brush so i literally had to use a spoon to put egg mixture on and never done that again because that's so difficult but i'm gonna put these in the oven now for probably like 30 40 minutes ignore the state of the hair and everything my hair was giving me a headache so i've had to take it down but Let's move that over there. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, they look so good. I've tried one of the brie and cranberry ones, but now I'm trying a sausage brie and cranberry, and this is the real taste test. And I'm nervous because they'd be effing good, right? It's good. Mmm. Yum. That is so hot. That is so nice. Wow. I feel like a festive queen right now. It's Saturday evening now. I went to get my nails done today and I'm literally obsessed with them. They're like gold. Can you see this? They're like gold glitter tips. They are so pretty. But my friend is coming around tonight. We're doing a little festive night in. Um, so I'm going to vlog tonight for you. But we're making some food, um, we're making some festive cocktails, well, cocktails, we're going to try and make them festive, but I'll see, I used to have like glitter for cocktails, but I literally can't find it anywhere now. Um, so yeah, that is the plans for this evening. I've got my Christmas pyjamas ready, obviously. Um, so yeah, that is the plans for this evening. I've just been like tidying the house, I've put some fresh bedding on, this is my reindeer bedding and i'm obsessed with it the pillows literally has like antlers on and i'm obsessed um so yeah i've put the fire on just made downstairs all nice and cozy um but i'm just gonna wait till my friend gets in now was the little setup for the lounge, just got the fire on, 
got the candles on, got the little star decoration in and obviously the Christmas lights have got to be on. My friend is arriving soon, um, but I'm going to show you what little bits I got for our dinner. I found these at turkey and stuffing crisps in, um, where did I go? Aldi. They look so nice. So I got some of them. I also got these little katsu chicken sliders. They're like little burgers. They look so nice. I then got some vegetable spring rolls because these are my friend's favourite. And then I also got these um, king prawns. I got some pigs and blankets as well. And then I just got this little tomatoes mozzarella and um, the sour cream dip. But look how cute this little bowl serving thing I found is. I think I'm going to put the like crisps and dip in there. I mean... This is not very big, but just the aesthetic, I'm going to put them in there. And then I also have these little, like, champagne coupe cocktail glasses. So cute. I've got some other cocktail ones somewhere. Um, but I'm not really sure where those are at the minute. But I've got these, and I've also got, like, Prosecco champagne glasses. But that's what we're doing tonight. Maya's got these, like, cocktail kits. They look so cool. We've got the Ponce Martini one. These are so cute, aren't they? And which one's this? Mojito one. How pretty. You should I be pouring two of these in? Yeah. Two shots of vodka. I don't know how many it makes. Really that's surely two. I think it's two, yeah. <laughs> I feel that's gonna be quite strong. Actually no, it's not that full, it should be fine. Did it come with passion fruits? Yeah. Oh no. Oh. That's alright. Well I guess if they're fresh and they can't really stay in a box for me. Um, this is a lot of vodka in there. <laughs> We've got all the Christmas buffet food. These sliders look so nice. We've got pigs and blankets, crisps, dip. We've got the prawns and vegetable spring rolls. And we're watching the Christmas Chronicles. We've literally had that one cocktail and we both feel a bit drunk already. But we're just gonna eat this and watch our Christmas film.